Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shomus Biology. And if you aspire to be a PhD candidate, then do not limit yourself for CSI NET, Biotechnology Eligibility Test or GET. Then spread your wings. And one of such extra such institutional PhD entrance examination is there conducted by Naipur Mohali. So in this video, I am going to talk about Naipur Mohali entrance examination why people take Naipur Mohali entrance examination and how to prepare for Naipur Mohali entrance examination the details about Naipur Mohali entrance examination so that's all about this video so continue to watch this okay so now about Naipur Mohali Naipur Mohali also offers a good PhD program and I believe personally as many of my students are placed there it's a good institute you can go for hyper mohali for doing your phd but obviously select the lab as per your uh, compatibility so let's look at the hyper mohali phd admission uh, review and all the simple details there uh, why this exam obviously to get phd admission in hyper mohali in different subjects like medical chemistry medicinal chemistry pharmacoinformatics pharmaceutical technology uh, which is process chemistry as well as biotechnology so you can see this medical or med medicinal chemistry pharmacoinformatics pharmaceutical technology these are all application based subjects and that's what i liked about naipur mohali they prepare you for an ap application based subject the application release date normally is in the february month interview date in the march end and the eligibility for biotech or ma for biotech eligibility will be ms m farm anything related to ms equivalent and uh, you can see the list of all the different courses are listed there that is ma m tech msc in different botany zoology computer science life sciences organic chemistry so basically any field from life science you can join even you from the chemistry background you can join age limit as per ugpg age rule because we, if you are if you are uh, admitting if you are targeting a graduation and post graduation that is undergraduate and post graduate age, age limit and for phd it is 28 years and 33 years respectively application fees 500 rupees for all there is no distinguish between a general ews pwd or any scst category differentiation it's 500 rupees and as per 500 rupees is a uh, uh, something that people can afford so obviously Naipur Mohali is doing a good job in this sense now I'll, I'm going to show you two different data set one is if you are applying for chemical sciences then how it's going to be and then if you are applying for life sciences then how it's going to be so for chemical sciences you can see that there are three different uh, four different things actually here medicinal chemistry natural products pharmacoinformatics and pharmaceutical technology which is also known as process chemistry that is upstream and downstream processing chemistry so medicinal chemistry eligibility ms any kind of m pharma or anything related to msc you can go to m tech m pharma msc organic chemistry that you can do natural products can be ms m farm uh, traditional medicines m farm or uh, msc in organic chemistry pharmacy pharmacoinformatics you can be ms in, uh, like uh, masters in pharmacy pharmacy m tech m farm uh, and m tech can be there msc in uh, biochemistry, biophysics, biotechnology, bioinformatics, microbiology, all these things work for pharmacoinformatics. So if you belong to hardcore life science field, not from a proper chemistry background, you can apply for the pharmacoinformatics course, not the natural products or medicinal chemistry course because you will not get the admission. Similarly, in the pharmaco, uh, like pharmaceutical technology course, there is also required MSc Pharma or MTech Pharma or MSc Organic Chemistry. So for biotech, microbiology students, and for other streams of life science student like biophysics, biochemistry, apply for pharmacoinformatics course and not any other courses. Okay, so that's the overall idea about uh, the Naipar Mohali. It is mostly focused on the chemical sciences, but obviously, uh, chemistry and biology will work together. So you'll get this chance of doing PhD there in the life science field. Alright, I believe you have a clear idea about Naipur Mohali entrance examination and what you need to do, what you need not to do about this. And like tips, every single exam, you need to look for the previous year's question papers. Just find some of the question papers from the internet scrapping and go through it uh, uh, and basic knowledge and that's it. That's all you need to prepare for it. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.